Good day, people of God. It's Pastor Jeremiah, also known as Pastor Loic. We'd like to hear the word of God for the week. But before we do so, let us start with a word of prayer. So reverence to our Heavenly Father, our God, let us bow our head and let us pray. Blessed and wonderful God, exalted King, Almighty Father, the only true God, thank you and give you all the glory and honor and praise. Thank you for this new opportunity that you are giving unto us to be found in your presence. And we pray, humbling ourselves, asking for your mercy, praying that you forgive us for whatever we may have done, said or thought, that in not honor glorifies you, and that you purify us, sanctify us with the water of purification and with your blood, body, soul, and spirit, mind, and heart, and that you cleanse us and purge your conscience from any deadly works that we be able to serve you as we're supposed to. We ask you to take control of everything and we stand against anything that opposes itself against the knowledge of the truth, any power of darkness, any principality of the kingdom of darkness, any wicked spirit in the high places, any rulers of the kingdom of darkness, we bound you and cast you into the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. And we proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. For your word says that at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, every knee in heaven, on earth, and under the earth shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Even so, let it be in Jesus Christ's name. We thank you. We give you all the adoration all the worship, all the praises, and we pray that you take us deeper and deeper into the understanding, the revelation of your mystery, even containing your word. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. So for this week, we take our main passage of the Holy Scripture in the book of Ezekiel chapter 28, verse 1 to 10. So reading the word of God in the book of Ezekiel chapter 28 verse 1 to 10 in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, Thus says the Lord God, because your heart is lifted up, and you have said, I am a God, I sit in the seat of God, in the midst of the seas, yet you are a man, and not God. Though you set your heart as the heart of God, behold, you are wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from you. With your wisdom and with your understanding, you have gotten riches and has gotten gold and silver into your treasures. By your great wisdom and by your traffic, you have increased your riches, and your heart is lifted up because of your riches. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have set your heart as the heart of God. Behold, therefore, I will bring strangers upon you, the terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their sword against the beauty of your wisdom, and they shall defile your brightness. And they shall bring you down to the pit, and you shall die the death of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. Will you yet say before him that slays you, I am God, but you shall be a man and no God in the hand of him that slays you. You shall die the death of the uncircumcised by the hand of, your, of strangers, for I have spoken it says the Lord God. May the Lord bless his word, may come full of understanding, revelation, grace, life, and blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So for this week, we continue in our main series of teaching on the fight against the church of God on earth. And last week, we started a new, a new subtitle on the tetrad, or, or, or the satanic tetrad. And today we're going to speak about the second tetrad, which is the marine kingdom of the world of darkness. 
So the title of our teaching for this week is The Marine Kingdom of the World of Darkness. The Marine Kingdom of the World of Darkness is a world of trade. And this is well portrayed in our main passage of the Holy Scripture through the Prince of Tyre or Tyrus in Latin. And this is where the Leviathan, the representative of Saturn under the sea, is established. And this is why the Word of God says that the Lord Jesus Christ will slay the dragon which is in the sea. If Isaiah chapter 27 verse 1 which says, In that day the Lord with his sore and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crook serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. Thus, in the end, the Lord Jesus Christ will slay the demon Leviathan. For Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. And the word of God says that at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, every knee in heaven on earth and under the earth, including under the sea, shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And the demon Leviathan also works with a female demon called Lamatsu, who is the mistress of the mermaid of the marine kingdom of the world of darkness. And the, and the mermaids are both male and female. But all are under the leadership of the demon Leviathan. Thus, Satan will send his demons to the Leviathan and unto Lamatsu when he needs items to trap people on the earth. And this is especially targeted against Christians. For in the eyes of Satan, only true Christians do not belong to him. In other terms, True Christians are not under his control. And this is why Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 12 verse 30, He that is not in, with me is against me. The first part of the verse. By this, Jesus Christ is simply implying that whosoever do not belong to him automatically belong to the other side. Meaning such a person would belong to the kingdom of darkness. And again, when referring to his disciples, meaning true Christians, Jesus Christ added in John chapter 17, verse 16, they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Through this verse, Jesus Christ means that those who belong to this world are under the control of the kingdom of darkness. For Satan is referred as the prince of this world. Thus, Christians do not belong to this world. Even though Christians are in the world, they do not belong to the system of this world. The Satan will send his demons under the sea to the demon Leviathan and under and, and unto the demon Lamatsu. And the demon Leviathan will use his tail to gather from the seabed clays and silt, also known as mud. And the demon Leviathan would transform this mud or clay into tons and tons of beauty products of all kinds. Soap, lipstick, artificial nails, artificial eyelashes, artificial hair, body lotion, face powder, and so on. The demon Leviathan would also make tea products, so tea. And the demon Lamatu would also produce a special clay from the earth of the seabed called calaba in French or edible clay which is usually eaten by pregnant women and some women also use it as a cream to remove pimples from their face and all this product will be transported onto Saturn and Saturn will pronounce some incantation over all this product in other, in other words, Satan would curse all this product and then this product will be sold in several shops all over the world. And this is one of the reasons the marine kingdom of the world of darkness is considered to be a world of trade. Tyre in the Greek or Latin, Tyre is the Greek or Latin name for the ancient 
famous Phoenician city. And this ancient city of Tyre was a port in the Mediterranean Sea. And we know that a port is a place where a lot of trading activities are taking place. And this is why our main passage of the Holy Scripture of Ezekiel chapter 28 verse 1 to 10 states that the prince of Tyre, referring to Saturn, has increased his riches by his traffic. And our main passage of the Holy Scripture is indeed a prophecy referring to Saturn, also known as the dragon. For it says that the prince of Tyre claimed to be God and he sits in the midst of the seas. In other terms, he has made his throne in the midst of the seas. And the book of Revelation tells us that the dragon who was cast out of heaven has given his power, his seat and authority to the beast that rises that rise up out of the sea. Revelation chapter 13 verse 1 to 2 which says, And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his head the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power, and his seat, and great authority. This thus confirms that the prince of Tyre refers to the dragon who was cast out of heaven. It refers to Satan, also known as the devil, the old serpent. Hence, our main passage of the Holy Scripture is a prophecy about the evil trade of Satan, which is done through the marrying kingdom of the world of darkness. And because Tyre is a port, it means that there is an import and export taking place. But what exactly Satan would like to import and export? This question is answered in our main passage of the Holy Scriptures. For it clearly states that the Prince of Tyre claimed to be God. This therefore implies that in the eyes of human beings, Satan wants to exchange the real throne of God with his throne. In other terms, Satan wants human beings to stop worshipping Jesus Christ, but that they all that all the worship be given to him, Satan. And this is what the book of Revelation adds in Revelation chapter 13, verse 4 to 6. And they worship the dragon who gave power unto the beast, and they worship the beast saying who is like unto the beast who is able to make war with him and there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemy and power was given unto him to continue 40 and two months and he opened his mouth in blasphemy against god to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven the fact that satan want to exchange the worship given to Jesus Christ, to a worship given to him, Satan, is also portrayed in the name, in the meaning of the name Tyre. For the name Tyre could be considered as the Hebrew equivalent of the Greek name Peter. For the name Tyre means rock, even as the name Peter. And we can recall what Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. And I say unto you, you are Peter which means rock and he said and upon this rock i will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it so god want to jesus want to build his church upon the rock and tire means rock we can thus perceive that through the ancient city of tire satan want to mimic the church of god in other terms satan want to create a false church a church which has 
amass excessive material riches. And this portrays very well the churches of these last days. And this is why Jesus Christ rebukes the church of Laodicea, which is the a representation of the church of these last days. In Revelation chapter 3, verse 17, which says, Because you say, I am rich, and increase with goods, and have no uh, and have need of nothing, and know not that you are wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Thus, one of the main objectives of Satan through this whole strategy is to weaken and control the church of God upon the earth in order to deviate the worship of the people from worshiping God to worshiping Satan, the dragon. And Satan aims to achieve this objective through beauty products, the clay and the tea. By using beauty products, Satan wants to import an evil beauty from the marine kingdom of the world of darkness on earth and more precisely inside the, ch inside the churches while removing the natural beauty of the people even the people of the church you will notice that most of these evil beauty products have an image on the label and it is usually an image of a mermaid hence when a woman, for instance, will use one of these beauty products. She will receive the beauty of this particular mermaid spirit. And if she is a Christian, she will thus bring this evil beauty inside the church. And this will seduce the brothers in the church. It can even seduce the pastor himself which implies that the member spirit will now be operating inside the church and we can see that most of the women in most local churches are using beauty products which means that most of the local churches are full of evil spirit from the marine kingdom of the world of darkness this implies that most of the local churches or majority of local churches are controlled by the marine kingdom of the world of darkness. In other terms, they are controlled by Satan. Thus, church members will no longer properly focus on worshiping God, but their attention will be now set on other church members, thus implicitly worshiping the creature instead of worshiping God the creator and because this evil spirit from the marine kingdom of the world of darkness will not be in control of the local church sexual immorality will thus be taking place in the local church for sister in sisters in the local church will not have sex with other brothers of the local church and sometimes even with the pastor. People would therefore be worshipping Satan by living in sin. For the word of God says in 1 John chapter 3 verse 8, He that commits sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. And that is why we, God, give us this revelation through this teaching we are implicitly destroying the work of the devil for the word of god says you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free so you are being free as you are hearing this teaching hence we can see that an exchange has taken place whereby the natural beauty of human beings mostly women and more importantly women in the church is taken into the marine kingdom of the world of darkness whereas the artificial beauty of the marine kingdom of the world of darkness is now found in the face on the face of the earth and more importantly inside local churches this implies that human beings are spiritually transferred in 
into the marine kingdom of the world of darkness while the demonic spirit of the marine kingdom of the world of darkness are now on the face of the earth and more importantly they are now inside the local churches in other terms this evil spirit have now become the local church by using the clay also known as the edible clay of calabar Satan wants to control newborn babies, especially the newborn babies of the church of God on earth. For this edible clay or calabar is usually eaten by pregnant women. And it is known from medical sources that calabar or edible clay causes anemia, meaning lack of blood. It also causes blood clot in the kidneys and can block the tube of women. And these women who eat calabar end up with a secondary sterility. Or this edible, edible clay or the calabar will simply weaken the intestine of the woman. And you will notice that servants of God are born of women. For instance, Jesus Christ, the savior of humanity, came through a woman. And through the calabar or edible clay, Satan want to prevent Christian women from giving birth to servant of God. So if Satan knows that if, for instance, this woman is meant to give birth to a servant of God, he will cause her to become a st- uh, uh, to become barren so she will not longer give birth be able to give birth so you want to stop the coming of the servant of god for this the, the, the that given woman and this is well portrayed by the fact that the dragon wanted to devour the child that the woman was ready to give birth to even as described in the book of Revelation, Revelation chapter 12, verse 4, which says, And he still drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for, the, for to devour a child as soon as it was born. Verse 17, And the dragon was rough with the woman, and went to make war with the remnant of a seed which keep the commandment of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. The edible clay or calabar also causes growth retardation with low birth weight in newborn babies. In pregnant women, we find worrying levels of certain heavy metals such as lead, also known as plump, in the body. So in the body of women who eat calabar, which is a, so those metals are little time bombs in the womb of this woman. All this simply means that local churches will not have a lot of people suffering from strange pathologies such as Down syndrome causing form for instance facial malformation and so on this is like creating a sick church a church whose members would have many deficiencies or health dysfunctionalities all this through this edible clay or calabar and through the tea satan want to control the virility of men especially christians these demonic teas will cause some married men to be less virile in other words they will have very little sexual drive 
this will cause them not to be able to satisfy their wife sexually thus causing a distortion in the marriage and it may result in the wife becoming unfaithful to her husband or she will simply divorce her husband and in some other cases these demonic teens would cause men to have excessive virility to the extent that their wife will not be able to satisfy them sexually and as a result it may lead the man to become unfaithful to his wife or to even divorce his wife and this negative effect of this demonic tears on men can also similarly affect women negatively and this will cause local churches to have a lot of divorces or unfaithfulness in marriage which will definitely have a negative impact on the whole society for christians should be role model in their respective society but in this case they will not be role model hence people will not want to be christians and we can notice that there is an increased number of divorces throughout the world especially among christians and what is even worse is that because women in local churches have been replaced with evil spirit from the marine kingdom of the world of darkness through beauty products from the kingdom of darkness hence by causing an excessive virility in men in local churches Satan is now multiplying those evil spirits by causing the men to have babies with these women who have been spiritually exchanged with evil spirit from the marine kingdom of the world of darkness knowing that this evil spirit and the excessive virility in men will cause an increased level of sexual immorality in local churches and as a result local churches will therefore grow numerically but with more and more people who are demonically possessed this is exactly the same strategy that Satan used during the time of Noah where fallen angels meaning demons had sex with women on earth and these women gave birth to demonic human beings and they replenished the earth hence the earth was only wicked and this made God to destroy all the people upon the earth with the great flood and only Noah and his family were saved hence through these evil strategies of the kingdom of darkness Satan want the church to no longer be the image of God his creator but that the church now be in the image of Satan hence the same way Lucifer stopped portraying the light of God by becoming Satan the dragon so Satan want also the church to stop being the image of God Satan will have thus created an artificial church a church full of people who are possessed with demonic spirit and as a result the true worship will no longer be taking place in these local churches for this demonic spirit will cause people to be more focused on material aspect of things for instance having a beautiful building a worship a, 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 a worshiping with beautiful women and men highly qualified church leaders yet they are occultists thus local churches will be worldly churches meaning they will behave act and talk like the people of the world meaning like unbelievers hence we want to pray so you're going to repeat this prayer after me with authority and with faith and appropriate yourself these words of this prayer in the name of Jesus repeat after me and say thank you heavenly father Yahweh the only true God the most high God thank you for entrusting me with this truth of your word 
for your word is the truth and you said that you shall know the truth and the truth will make us free I thus decree that I am free in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray again Heavenly Father so that you forgive me for any products that I may have used to create any artificial beauty forgive me Heavenly Father for any calabar that I may have eaten forgive me Abba Father for any tea that I may have drunk which had been produced in the marine kingdom of the world of darkness. And I pray that you purify me with your water of purification, body, soul, and spirit. And that you sanctify me also with your blood, body, soul, and spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. And that any negative impact that this evil product from the kingdom of darkness may have caused in me and on me be completely nullified in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be completely cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ. Abba Father, you have created human beings full of intelligence and with an, a natural beauty. And your word says that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And again, you have created me in your own image and likeness. Hence, I declare that I am perfect the way you have created me and made me in the name of Jesus Christ. I therefore do not need any unnecessary beauty products. I do not desire them. I am not obsessed with them. I thus refuse to put artificial things on me for I am already complete the way you have made me. I am better naturally in the name of Jesus Christ. I thus declare that I do not have any beauty from the marine kingdom of the world of darkness. But my beauty is natural and it is coming from my heavenly father in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree that my body, soul and spirit are not under the influence of any demonic power in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that my body, soul and spirit function adequately even as my heavenly father has created me in the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree that I only use what is necessary to maintain my natural appearance and beauty in the name of Jesus Christ. Abba Father, you have said in your word that I will take the serpent by the tail and if I drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt me. Hence, if by inadvertence I use or drink any product that may have been made by the tail of the crook serpent, the Leviathan, I declare that it shall not hurt me in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, faithful, glorious God, faithful Father, Yahweh, for it is done in the name of Jesus Christ. For may you thus be forever and ever magnified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.